Hey, what's going on guys? I researched local SEO ranking in the Google three pack for over 50 hours. I'm going to break it down in under six minutes. Watch this. All right, guys. So today we're going to use the keyword roofer and the place we're going to use is Texas. Just replace your keyword and your city and follow the rest of the instructions. So if we, the first thing you want to do is put in the keyword into Google and you want to check out the Google three pack and see who's ranking. The first thing you want to do is see how many reviews the top three people have for that particular keyword. If I'm a brand brand new um, roofer, I don't think I could compete with somebody with 109 reviews, 237 or 159. I would pick another keyword like roof replacement or a type of roof. I wouldn't go after that keyword first. All right. You want to try to get, uh, you want to try to go into the cat, into the Google three pack with people who have less than 50 reviews. Why is that? You know, you could rank with 10 or 12 reviews, but you're just not going to get the calls. You're not going to get the calls and you're definitely not going to get the calls if, you know, your competition has hundreds of reviews. So that's the first thing that you should look at. The second thing you need to do, I have an affiliate link below if you'd like to use it, is you need an SEO grid program. This SEO grid pro program shows you not only where your website is ranking, but it shows you uh, your competitors, how far your competitors are ranking. So a lot of times clients ask me, they're like, hey, how far can I rank with this keyword? Can I go 20 square miles or 40 square miles? The best way to check is to check your competition. Check the people in first and second and third place and see how far they're going. Okay? So I scrolled down to somewhere in the eighth, eighth and ninth place, and I found this uh, website. Well, let's talk about a couple of things that I would do to this website to optimize it. The first thing I would do is I would go to the um, I would go to the title tag up in top and instead of putting genuine text Texas interiors, home exterior contractor, I would use the word roofer in there. That's the first thing I would do. The second thing I would do is I would change all the H tags tags instead of Texas exteriors to roofer. OK, so that's the second thing to do. The third thing I would do is I would replace this section right here where it says service award. That doesn't mean anything to Google about roofer in Central Texas. You want to make sure in all the H tags you're talking about what you do and where you do it. So, for example, the types of roofs that you do, uh, um, uh, you could talk about service awards but the types of service rewards you've won for those type of keywords. See, that's how, how, how you could put it in. Who we are means nothing, right? Who is genuine Texas exterior roofing specialists, right? So change all these H tags and change all this content, how it works, how what works. This is the reason why they're not ranking. And I'm not um, I'm not getting on them. I'm just saying that you may have the same, you may have the same issues. Client testimonials doesn't mean anything. Client roofer testimonials, right? So this, this page, I'm just looking at the homepage. It needs a lot more content. There's nothing on this page that really signals to Google what they do and where they do it. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have the proper categories in your Google business profile. Right. So you get to it by going to business.google.com. Click the edit profile button and you'll come to a page right here and you want to make sure that you have the correct business categories. How do you know you have the correct uh, business categories? There's a program here called uh, GMB Everywhere. It's a free Chrome uh, Chrome extension. And it will show you the categories that your your competition has. You'll notice right here, see so the category finder, you click that, it'll show you all the categories that, you're, that your competition is using. Now, you don't need GMB everywhere because Google gives you, the first, uh, it gives you the first category. So roofing contractor, roofing contractor, 
that's the category that that um, this company, Genuine Texas, should have roofing contractor. So everything here should be uh, uh, Google five star rated um, roofing contractor in Central Texas. That's what this H tag should be, and it should also be in their title tag, right here. Your title tag should be the same thing. You want to say what you do and where you do it. All right, download the GMB Everywhere. It's a Chrome extension. I think the free one allows you five per day, five searches per day. It's more than enough. Okay, now you need to write content. So this is what I'm doing right here. It's like, I'll just say, create a list of all the related words uh, for roofer right, for roofer, and Central Texas, please, please name all the cities and neighborhoods. Okay, so what ChatGPT is going to do is it's going to create a list of everything we need. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that list, I'm going to copy and paste that list, and I'm going to ask it to write me a web page using all that information. You can imagine what it's gonna look like. I don't have to do that. So I'll just copy and paste all that. I'll put it into ChatGPT and say, please write a uh, web website content for uh, my business, Central Texas Roofing. This video goes out to my best friend, Darren, who passed away uh, November 21st, 2021. Uh, he was my best friend. He was my SEO guru, guru and and he inspired me to make these videos. I love him and I miss him. Guys, please be good to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids, and we'll catch you next time.